Chapter 1 You are listening at FameTV.info Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Yunding City, in a luxurious single. Family Villa. An extremely beautiful girl with an incredibly good figure was currently wearing an apron and some mittens. She was cooking dinner in the kitchen like a housewife, meanwhile, there a mobile phone in front of her, which was broadcasting her live stream. The number of viewers in the stream was stable at around a thousand people, and she could be considered slightly popular on the platform. Hello, dear viewers, for your information, it took me three hours to come up with the dinner that I'll be preparing for you today, it's an advanced version of the famous Cornish dish, Stargazy Pie 1. The young girl in the live stream had blonde hair, and her sapphire-like eyes looked exceptionally attractive. In comparison, she was stirred up frying some unknown black substance in a pot that she was holding. It did not fit her countenance at all, the contrast of a beauty like her making such an ugly cuisine instantly made the bullet screen full of activity, haha, <laughs> the advanced version of stargazy pie, I'm dying of laughter. Ha ha ha. Last time, looking at the regular stargazy pie was scary enough. If I eat this, wouldn't I be sent straight to heaven? The brain circuits of an ordinary person couldn't have possibly come up with such an unpleasant cuisine. You even thought about it for three hours, ha ha ha. How are you going to refine the poison? Sigh, actually, it doesn't matter what you do. I'm mainly here to see you, not to cook, faced with ridicule on her live stream, the young girl could not help but softly mutter, what? They're saying that this delicacy I spent three hours to come up with is poison. But it looks. It doesn't look good, but it should taste okay. However, her complaint made itself into the stream due to her phone's excellent transmission, and it immediately resulted in more laughter in the comments, the girl's name was Elizabeth, and she was a full dot time streamer, she was not only beautiful, but she also had a top dot notch figure. However, she did not rely on singing and dancing to earn a living. Instead, she enjoyed streaming a fresh take on her daily activities such as cooking, washing dishes, mopping the floor, watering the flowers, drawing, and so on. As for the audience, they did not join her live stream just to watch her do those things. The most important thing to them was to see her beautiful face. After all, Elizabeth was really too breathtaking, moreover, other beautiful female live streamers, who had long waists, as well as legs, and relied on naked videos to support themselves. In comparison, she was considered a clean streamer on the world's largest streaming platform, Douyin. Although she was still considered a very niche live streamer, she had managed to attract quite a number of fans with her outstanding looks and pure personality. More importantly, loyal fans did not want the live streamer to be discovered by more people, ultimately. Sigh. It comes down to d asterisk ned possessiveness, this live streamer is so beautiful. I never expected her to make something so unique. I would like to call you a rare genius. Exactly. This talent is simply outrageous. It's hard to imagine how you can make such normal ingredients like this. It's like a poison master refining poison. Hey, it's not right for everyone to say that. After all, God is fair. He's given the streamer such a beautiful face. Naturally, he's also closed a window for her. Please be more understanding. Be more understanding. What? Elizabeth read the comments one by one. Did all these fans really feel that she was making poison? Am I doubting myself? Humph. I'll prove it to all of you. As she thought of that, Elizabeth immediately turned off the stove. Then, she took out her chopsticks and picked up a piece of ingredient that could no longer be identified as meat or anything else. Dear viewers, watch carefully. In order to prove it to all of you, I'll get ready to eat. Wow. The streamer is testing the poison with her own body. Her courage is commendable. Oh, my god, the streamer is going to commit suicide by taking poison. In ancient times, there was a farmer who tasted a hundred herbs. Today, there is a streamer who eats poison. Big flex, big flex. By the way, do you want to call 1201 first? 
what if it's really poisonous? Elizabeth was just about to put the unknown charred substance into her mouth when she was abruptly taken aback. She looked at the thing in her hand suspiciously and muttered, hmm. By the way, should I set it on a plate for a more ceremonious feel? Eating it like this would be too disrespectful to the fruits of my labor. When the people in the comment section heard this, they were about to retort, however, at that moment, the kitchen door, which had originally been tightly shut, suddenly creaked open. A large brown reptile with a long tail climbed onto the kitchen stove. It even stuck out a scarlet tongue and looked into the pot as if it was extremely interested in what was inside, F asterisk CK host, what the hell is that thing in your house? What is that thing? She even has a gecko there. F asterisk CK, are you blind? Could a gecko be so big? TSK TSK TSK, the kitchen hygiene is worrying. I'm afraid it's not a gecko, but a snake, right? Well, there have indeed been talented people from ancient times. Not only is there a problem with their eyes, but there's also a problem with their brains. Your snake has four legs, eh? F asterisk CK, that's a giant Komodo dragon, right? The host's pets are all so bold. This thing is poisonous. Host, the giant lizard is spitting into your pot. This time, your dish is really poisonous. Don't eat it. Countless viewers were scared out of their wits. They sent out bullet messages in a frenzy, but there was nothing that they could do, many people even thought that a ferocious beast had broken into the streamer's house. They immediately picked up their phones and prepared to call the police, what? Elizabeth, who had her back facing the stove, was stunned when she saw the bullet comments that suddenly appeared. She quickly turned around, right then, the half.meter.long reptile had already stuck its long tongue into the pot. It rolled up a piece of black jelly and put it into its mouth, then, it rolled up its long tongue and narrowed its eyes. It had a satisfied look on its face, little brown. Why are you stealing food again? I've worked so hard for so long, but I haven't eaten yet. Elizabeth's face was filled with mild anger. That giant lizard immediately lowered its head like a child who had been scolded, looking at that giant lizard that was staring at her pitifully, Elizabeth instantly sighed. Sigh, I really can't do anything to you. Don't steal food next time. As she said that, she placed the piece of charcoal, which she had not eaten in time, in the other party's mouth. With a roll of its tongue, the food was instantly swallowed into her stomach. The giant lizard once again revealed a satisfied expression seeing this, those in the stream were shocked, what the f asterisk ck. Does that thing understand human language? This. Can that thing really be raised in the country? It won't eat people, right? That's extravagant, really extravagant. Raising these creatures is probably more exciting than raising pythons. I didn't know that this streamer actually liked these things. Looks like the stargazy pie really isn't poisonous. That thing's actually fine after eating it. Seems like it still tastes good. The lizard actually ate the stargazy pie made by the streamer. F asterisk CK, isn't it afraid of being poisoned to death? Lizard. There's only poison in feces. F asterisk CK, this is too exciting. I'm dumbfounded, hee <laughs> hee, everyone, don't panic. This is my family pet. It doesn't bite. Elizabeth stroked the giant lizard's head while she fed it her freshly baked stargazy pie, countless people stared blankly at Elizabeth in the live stream. She was still stroking the head of a fierce beast that a seemingly innocent and weak woman actually had such a P.E.T. that I.T. was simply unimaginable, despite that, the sharp that I'd audience noticed something unusual right then. This. There seemed to be two bumps on the giant lizard's back. Could it be sick? No way, what's with the symmetrical appearance of the bumps? I actually feel that it's a little similar to that. Um, what's that again? It looks like the wings of a western dragon that haven't sprouted, just like in the movies. Yes, 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 that's the feeling. It's like a flesh membrane. 
How strange. The more I look at it, the less it looks like a lizard. Look at the crown on its head and the barbs. It looks just like a western dragon. You don't have to tell me twice. It does appear a little similar when I look at it, and it's so human-like, witnessing Elizabeth's pet, numerous viewers started to speculate and suspect, upon closer inspection, the lizard called Little Brown really had an uncanny resemblance to the western dragons in the movies. It had bulging wings, a long flat head, sharp teeth, a tail as long as a steel rope, and spikes on the top of its head, the more they looked at it, the more they felt that something was wrong, following further scrutiny, it seemed like they were able to see some faintly discernible membranes, which really converged on the sides of its body like wings, for a moment, the bullet comments surged crazily. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.